In this tutorial, we'll see how to manage Palo Alto address objects using Ansible. Here we'll see how to create, update, and delete address objects using panOS underscore address underscore object module. Previously, we have seen how to gather the address object details using the same module. That time we have used date gathered. This is one example of how to configure address objects. Now we'll go to the documentation of the module. This is the documentation of pan OS address subject module. This we have seen earlier. That time we have used the state gather. And in that video, we have seen how to pass provider. Within provider, we are passing the credentials of the firewall. Then we were storing this into a variable. I'll go to VS Code. We have used this particular playbook for gathering the address objects. We are using this particular module, passing the provider. Then the state is gathered, and we have used a gathered filter. And in the next video, we have seen how to use gathered filter. And I'll open the documentation of gathered filter. Gathered filter will allow you to apply advanced filtering on the Palo Alto objects that we have seen in this particular script demonstration. We can apply filtering based on the name, description or any other parameter. We can even apply digits, patterns. Now we'll copy this particular script and I'll put it into this file 07 address subject create update delete. Previously we have even seen how to set this particular Ansible Python interpreter if you're using virtual environment. If you're interested, you can take a look into that video to understand this part. So first we'll try running this. I'll give Ansible playbook and directory is 24 and file is 07. Enter. Now here we are able to see all the address objects configured in the firewall. We'll verify that from the firewall interface. Refresh the page. Here we can see we have three LAN host IP netmask address type object. Then we have a subnet here, LAN subnet. Then we have a range, Wi-Fi access point range then two public IP DNS object. Then we have another FQDN object. Now, if you verify the response, we'll be able to see all these objects are returning because we are using the gathered filter all. Here we are trying to get all the objects. Now we'll see how to configure it. I'll copy this task. I'll paste it here and change the name to create address object and I'll give the state present even if you don't give it the default state value is going to be present and here we'll try to put same LAN host one data here I'll give name copy paste this then address type IP net mask now we'll add the description description we'll try to change to different value I'll give LAN description 2 and we can verify the description event from the portal I'll open this particular object and here we can see its description is LAN description 1 here I am giving LAN description 2 and value will keep it same 172.16.100.11 now we will register this to a variable I will call this LAN underscore post 01 then we will print it I will call this print auto subject creation copy this variable 
and put it here. Now we'll try running the playbook. Now if you notice here, we have a change. And here we'll be able to see the difference. This was the before config and this is the after config. And here in before description was 1, now description is 2. We can verify that from the firewall. Refresh this page. I'll open the object and now description got updated. Now we'll try to update the IP address of this particular object. I'll give triple one. Now we'll try running again. Now also this got updated. This was our before config and this is the after config. Now IP also got updated. Now we'll try changing the name. I'll give underscore new. But once you change the name, what will happen is this will create a new object with this name because this particular object is binded with the name we can verify that from the portal so now you can see there is a new object it is not updating the existing object now if you want to delete this new object we can give absent. We'll run it again. Now refresh the page. So now this particular object got deleted. Now we'll see the difference between present and merged state. I'll go to VS Code. I will copy paste same task again and within this task we need to use LAN host one object and state I will change to present. So when we give present this will try to add the object and here also I will change this to present. But in the second statement, I will delete the description. So here, in case of present, what will happen is, this will try to override the previous configuration with the new configuration. So in the second execution, this will remove previously added description. And before that, we'll try verifying the firewall configuration so the current description is description 2 I will run the playbook now in the second execution if you notice the after config description is null so this is trying to remove the previously added description. We can verify that from the portal as well. Now we'll try to change this to merged. In the second statement, I'll change this to merged. In case of merged, it will try to merge the current configuration with previous configuration so even if you don't have description here it will try to merge the configuration with previous config now we'll try running again
and we'll go to firewall now this has added the description too so it is trying to merge the configuration in this way we can use pan os address underscore object module for creating updating or deleting address objects